Chongqing, for us, when we first looked at Chongqing, it's all about the water. We tried to create a beautiful way of integrating the architecture in the water uh, that is derived from the idea of Chongqing. We were asked to put five restaurants uh, in between two lakes, and so our concept was to actually connect the two lakes with water and literally to float the restaurants on top of the water. Water is fundamental to this scheme. Uh, when people arrive at this site, we actually deliberately put the pathways beneath the waterline so people would actually experience the water on both sides as they approach through the landscape on their way to the restaurants. It's really beautiful because the, the water courtyard has beautiful still water. We designed it in such a way where we have these beautiful slick edges for the water so we get a beautiful reflection plane. And so all of the lighting of the building gets beautifully mirrored. So as you enter the water courtyard, not only do you have the wonderful tranquility of the water, but you get the lighting effects dancing off the water plane as well. Inside the restaurant, we've been very deliberate to try and have unbroken views in all directions. By putting the bathrooms and kitchens in the basement areas, it means that as you sit inside the restaurants, you can look in 360 degrees surrounded by water. This project has also been always about sustainability. By having the water courtyard, we're using the cooling breezes of the wind through the buildings to cool the patrons. And also by having the beautiful pattern on the elevations of the building, 50% of the building is protected from the harsh sunlight. This reduces energy use inside the buildings. This is extremely important for a place like Chongqing. Chongqing historically is one of the hottest cities in China. So by coming up with environmental ways of reducing the temperature and making it more comfortable for the patrons, we feel that this is the appropriate thing to do in this locality. I don't think there's any other project quite like this in China and I certainly haven't even seen it internationally because all of the functions of the restaurants are all hidden underneath the water. I think I'd like to think that I'm bringing some of the, the best ideas both internationally and also from within China. I've, because I've lived in China now for eight years, I'm very actively trying to integrate myself as best as possible within the culture and also within some of the, the methodology and approaches to, to architecture that, that Chinese take. And taking all of those things together, I'm trying to merge it to try and get a really good result. So it has to be based on local context, it has to be based on local culture, but also we want it to be very progressive and modern. And I'd like to think that I'm trying and succeed, succeeding in blending those things together.